Okay, strike while the iron's hot. Welcome to part two from the uh, Chanel product mock-up series. And um, I'm recording this on the same day right away after recording part one. So that uh, because Christmas is coming and I don't know if I'll be able to record then. So this is where we left it in the pa previous part. We had the, we finished the bottle. We did the uh, neck and uh, the we kept a cylinder for the nozzle. In this part, we're going to be making the cap and then we're going to finish the nozzle and do all the other small details. So, okay, so without further ado, let's start. I want to keep my cursor at the center of this cylinder and I'm going to add a cube because a cube resembles that uh, thing, the cap. Now, I'm going to, now this is just a matter of placing this in the right play uh, size and uh, I'm just going to focus on this rectangle first. And I'm gonna go from there in a partitioned manner so that uh, because it's a little easier to do that I'm gonna add a loop in the middle and uh, delete these vertices and add a mirror modifier just to make my life easier uh, because I don't want and uh, make sure you enable clipping else it's gonna break apart and now I'm gonna bring this in like that yeah now with that done I'm gonna extrude this like this and then I'm going to select the entire top part and extrude that up and then select the bottom part and extrude that down along the Z axis. All right, now I'm going to scale the same bottom part down along the X axis alone to uh, match the uh, reference image, kind of like that. And now uh, about the ridiculous length of this cap it looks like it looks like some kind of a mic i mean if you invert your screen like this it looks like some kind of a table mic all right uh coming to our references you can see that uh, the cap is actually as thick as the bottle so that's what we are going to do we're going to scale this down along the y-axis to be as thick as the bottle about that much i'm happy with that size uh, we can, don't worry about this side, the tapering, you know, this side. Am I dark? I am pretty dark, aren't I? Give me a second. There we go. There is a light on my face. I have been enlightened. Okay, uh, now coming to the bottom part, I'm going to select all of these vertices. Take them down once and uh, scale it down along the x-axis. Now the cap is the most trickiest part of this model because you know, you have this uh, prism-like glass cap here and uh, then you, you have this fine cut perfect circle coming down from it. And the problem is that when you tr just, you know, extrude a circle out of this, you know, you can use loop tools obviously. But when you extrude, you need to make sure that, you know, uh, the, the stretching, the kind of stretching that we got over here, you see that? We, we need to make sure that that does not come because the bottle... The size of the bottle is big so that little stretching is not a big problem but uh, in the cap which is uh, different and small the stretching will be very obvious and you need the cap to be look looking perfect because that's a trademark thing so all right let's do that uh, i'm gonna add in some let's go to local view and i'm gonna bottom view Control 7 to go uh, bottom orthographic, 7 to hit top, Control to go to the opposite side. Similarly, 1 for front, Control 1 for the back. Number bad stuff, by the way. <clears throat> Alright, so now, right now we don't have enough geometry to ma uh, make a circle. So I'm going to give it geometry by, you know, adding one loop over here. And um, we need, we want it to be squares, okay? So uh, this is not a square so this kind of creates these squares so i'm gonna add that once you add it right click to cancel the movement by the way cool um and now we're gonna check the scale of our item which is not one so Control a and apply the scale now you have that let's select these faces and uh, let's go into w loop tools circle great uh, and you should notice that the circle doesn't is 
kind of weird the circle looks kind of weird it's not circle and if you scale it up you know you get a circle but if you scale it down you can see that kind of goes weird that's because of the mirror modifier uh when you add in i mean when you add in a circle that should be good but you are not allowed to scale it up or down when you have the mirror modifier so when you use a loop tool it's a better it's a good idea to uh, apply your mirror modifier and the thing with 2.9 is you just you don't even have to go like this and apply it all you have to do is you just have to hover over the keep your cursor on top of the modifier and hit Control a to apply the modifier <sighs> that's a lifesaver honestly now i have all these perfect uh squares scale is one w loop tools circle it's right click in case your options is right click and uh, with that done i'm going to delete these faces cool so now you can see that we don't have any stretching you know we just we can extrude it down it's going to be a perfect cut circle okay. let's go into the front view and uh, we have to kind of bring this down along the z axis till about there and now we have to scale this up so alt shift to select the whole path and let's scale it up and hold hit shift z to scale it up in every axis except the z axis like that cool now we're gonna go take it down along the z axis to about here and uh, yeah actually that's that's where the cap ends cool okay now we're gonna scale this up like that to create that circle that bump awesome and now that we've finished the cap which looks good we can select all these uh and you know, if you don't wanna uh, do something um yeah okay it's all right we're gonna select all these faces like this control three and hold shift while you select all the others from the opposite side and now let's uh, just scale it in along the y-axis like that and uh, that should be cool uh, one thing you should take care of is this one because it looks kind of off placed so i'm going to scale that in along the x-axis to kind of bring both of them inside a little bit like that and now you can see that we have the good shape cool uh now the cap isn't done yet actually the cap is like i told you it's the most complex part of this so we would be applying a solidify modifier to the bottle uh to, to, to the bottle's body to you know give it this thickness but uh you are not really going to give it a solidify modifier because this entire thing is one thick piece of glass and uh, you have this one cut going inside to create like this that uh, place where the nozzle kind of rests so we are going to select that we have to make that so we actually have to make space for that so scale these up scale these up like this why is that oh this is annoying i have to select the whole thing i have to go around and select the whole thing s shift z and scale that up like that just enough and now we're going to be dealing with the bottom part actually it helps to apply the subsurf modifier here so that you know how thick you should have this and uh, as it turns out we're not having it thick enough it looks like this whole part is going to be called part two making the cap and people are going to run away realizing that it's an entire part of just making a uh, cap Scale that up like this. You can see that the gap is pretty low at the bottom, so just eyeball it. 
that much should do now select only the bottom ring and i'm going to hit e once right click to cancel the extrusion and now scale it in in every axis except the z axis by holding shift z and now i can create that cool okay all right the next thing for us to do is to cancel hide the subs off and uh, kind of you know you just have to follow this thing over here and then you have to follow that and um kind of helps to go into wireframe so that you can see the uh, shape of the bottle too okay now let's hit e and you can see that right away that it's not thick enough so I'll scale that down like that you can bring it up a little if you wanna I know I'm, I'm, I'm being too much of a perfectionist but when you come go into the industry to uh, you know do a product mock-up sorry when you go into the industry to do a product mock-up they expect it to be professional they expect it to be perfect now i know there are some places where you don't have need perfection uh like we remember that there was a little stretching on the top of the glass bottle yeah now those are areas which where you don't necessarily have to worry about the perfection because um, that's not a big uh, flaw in our case in our model but when it comes to this this is a clear cut glass cap and in this if you make something if you make even oh yeah if you make even the smallest mistake it's gonna be seen brighter than my future because the whole thing is transparent and i just realized i made mistakes yeah just make sure that you follow the uh, trail correctly there you go so you you have to realize you have to make sure that you don't uh, make mistakes when it comes to the places where you should not make mistakes like this where uh, things will be seen anyways you get the idea you know what i'm saying add loops subtract loops do whatever you need to do to make sure that you get that shape there you go i think i should add one loop over here just to you know kind of give it that bevel oh my god what is wrong with my nose today i've been having a cold some kind i don't know uh ever since i woke up i don't know why okay um cool you can go into solid view and now we just have to fix one thing which is oh my god that that scared me a little <laughs> uh we just have to make sure of one thing which is we need to join this we need to fill that up now while you might want to just you know select all the edges and fill fill in with an f we don't really want to do that because we're going to be adding the subsurf modifier and the subsurf modifier does not really deal with n-gons pretty well and uh, because of that it gives you shading issues not just shading issues it just ruins your topology so we are actually gonna have to uh, make quads out of this so we're gonna join these two vertices by hitting F and I'm gonna, I need one vertex, one vertex point in the middle. So I'm gonna hit W with that selected and hit sub divide. Cool. And uh, now you can see that we have, I'm gonna move my cursor away. We can now make quads over here. It's just so satisfying, you know, to uh, get quads in your, get you know oh made a triangle to do everything right and be able to make 
like a quad over there you know there you go now you have a okay i didn't do that it's really confusing sometimes but yeah it's it's very satisfying to you know make quads and look at how perfectly smooth that looks hope i don't have covid shade it smooth and go into the normals and enable auto smooth perfect now uh, let's sharpen this by adding bevels 15 minutes oh my god this part really is going to be called the uh, part of the cap let's go and people are going to be like hey do you know which Menon has a whole 20 minute tutorial on uh, making a bottle cap people are going to be like that's one tutorial i'm going to stay away from and uh, i'm going to delete all these parts because i don't want to be wasting time by you know doing everything twice and i know i should have wanna add the uh, mirror modifier again and uh, you should right off notice that we have some weird thing happening there that's because the mirror modifier is below the subdivision surface the order of your uh, modifiers matters a lot so I'm gonna keep the mirror modifier first and now you can see that those problems are gone and you will clip it. Okay, now uh, let's build these. Everything is okay. It's gonna be, this is a little tricky. Um, just have to select all the sharp edges, the edges which will be sharp and bevel them that's it that's that's the whole thing yeah um by the way guys uh if you guys could you guys do me a favor uh i love watching good movies i love watching good series so so uh, if you guys could be kind enough to, you know, suggest me some really good series in the comment section below, TV series, I would love it. Not that one. Okay, it's, it's really confusing now. Um, hope I got everything right. You can go on to this, look at that, this way. Select this one. good i think that looks good i think that looks good okay we're just gonna bevel it and i yeah the week was one okay okay then forgot about this one these ones awesome that looks Hey, that looks fantastic. It took 18 minutes to do this. Not proud of it. Save this while you're at it. And um, let's make the nozzle. Let's make the nozzle. I mean, we have one more minute and for 20 minutes already. Right, make a nozzle. And I don't know why there's no nozzle in these. I mean, there's no nozzle in the 3D renders too. Um, maybe, wait, wait a second. I mean, there is a nozzle in this one, but this one looks like this and uh, this one looks different. Maybe, I think that these are, these are those, I think these are those models where you open the bottle and pour them onto your uh, hand. Uh, Oh my god, yeah, I think so. Look at that. Yeah, I think this is one of those types. And I heavily criticize these models for uh, these 3D renders for not having <laughs> nozzles. <laughs> I think these are those. But hey, come on, look at that glass. We are gonna, that doesn't look realistic. We're gonna be making a professional studio shot looking. Um, perfectly realistic 
3D model which you can boast about, all right? Come on, we are gonna make something that's way better than this. <laughs> okay, uh, about the nozzle. Okay, so how the nozzle works is that it, it's actually gonna, coming in like this. It's connected till the tube, which is inside. So, uh, it's not really clear in this. I mean, we have the tube over here. It's not really clear in this one, even though there's a nozzle, we don't see the tube. I think they removed the tube for the sake of foot, uh, taking a picture. I don't know. So yeah, we have to make this whole connection here. And it's not a big thing to do actually. Let's hide the cap. And uh, let's shade this guy smooth and enable auto smooth else you're gonna have this weird shading issue and uh, local view and let's delete this face at the bottom and now let's uh, just kind of go into the front view and uh, you know bring this guy to here extrude it once still about here scale this down Kind, it's kind of like, you know, it's coming out like this and bulging out like that. So we're going to bring this guy down like that till about here. Yeah, and this is going to be the end of the bulge. Add a loop over here, scale it up like this. Extrude this down again and scale it in every axis except this Z z-axis like that and there you go that's it and uh, we just have to make some and yeah you just have to you know extrude it a little on the inside like this to kind of like create the uh, hold for the tube oh my god my cold is terrible i think my cold is growing Okay, that looks good. Now we can apply our subsurf for this and you know, you see what happens when you have an end gone. But it's alright, doesn't matter in our case because I'm gonna apply the scale and we're gonna hit a pebble, give it, hit it with a pebble modifier. I don't think you need four. Do you need four? Alright, four. And I, I don't think you actually need a three subsurf for this. Two is good enough. One is good enough. It's, so detail you probably won't even be able to see select this one select this one this one this one this one and this one give it a better uh, and change the limit method to it now you can see that we have a nice looking thing. Yeah, you can give this a bevel because you can see that it's kind of pulling down on our nozzle. We don't want that. So let's tighten this one too. And our nozzle is now straight. Good. There you go. We made that. And uh, one last thing for this tutorial part would be to add the tube which is going to be yet another cylinder i don't think you need 32 word i'm going to keep 32 vertices i don't mind scale it in like that bring it down uh better to enable wireframe yeah now you can see Yeah, like about there, that much is good. And you can bring this down, you know, this, uh, I'm just gonna leave this straight. If you want, you know, you can just add in some loops like this and uh, use proportional editing, kind of select one and uh, kind of make this all seem bent and stuff, no, like this, you can make that this is just for you those you can do that 
uh, this is just for those people who want like super realism but I'm just gonna leave it straight like that without any loops in the middle the one last thing to worry about would be to um, select this and scale this in to kind of make it seem like it's holding the tube there you go with that alt h to bring back our cap woohoo we're almost done with the modeling uh just one last thing for us to do is giving this bottle some thickness because right now it's paper thin so uh we're gonna do that by using the solidify morph okay wow it's a perfect match you know you can see the shadows are kind of nice okay uh we're gonna give it a solidify modifier and uh right now let's apply the scale make sure that your scale is one and uh, after that if you apply the solidify modifier where is it where is it where is it over here if you give this bottle its thickness which is required you will be able to see that there is some weird uh, things happening here and that's just the bevel modifier you know it's basically it's putting vertices close to each other right this would happen even if you use proximity loops uh it's not it does not happen only because of the bevel modifier uh, this is a problem which happens when you use the solidify modifier. So one way to solve it would be instead of giving these this thickness inside, you know, if when you give thickness inside an object, you're basically compressing it. So instead of compressing it, let's give it outside so that in, instead of get, getting compressed, it's going to expand. Uh, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to scale this object down like this. Cool and uh, let's select the bottom part and uh, let's bring it down like till over here where the thickness is and uh, if you actually perfume bottles don't need this much of a gap and you can see that you know this inside the reference image you can see the solidification is pretty it's a pretty small gap so we're gonna make that it's kind of like that And then there's uh, one, we have to adjust this one too. Bring it in like that. Because it just has to give place for the uh, tube. Uh, bring this one up, bring this guy up like that. We can bring this guy up like that. There you go. Uh, you might have to actually make this a little bigger. Like that okay cool all right awesome uh, maybe give this yeah. amazing uh, now let's give this scale make sure your scale is one now the scale set to one uh, we can go into front view and uh, add in a solidify modifier and by default it should be at minus one which means that the thickness is going in uh, we can change the offset to plus one, which means the thickness will go out. And if you, when you increase the thickness, you can now see that we're not having any issues over here. Uh, you'd think that there are a little issues there, but that doesn't really matter. So there you go. Congratulations, you have come, finished the modeling part from this uh, tutorial series. In the next video, we'll be doing, you know, the small subtle details like the uh, labels and you know the brand uh, logos and then you have this nozzle that hole in the nozzle through which the spray comes out we'll we'll finish that that, that takes like two minutes and after that we'll be f dealing with the materials in the next part so see you in that bye